After adding some content to your course site using the Lessons tool, there's some additional steps you can take to make sure things are organized and easy for students to navigate. In this video, we'll streamline and organize a course by hiding and scheduling subpages, reordering items on a subpage, and restructuring the course menu. Let's say it's the second week of the semester, and I've prepared for week three by creating a subpage for next week. However, since we're still in week two, I'm not ready for students to see week three's material. Sakai allows you to hide a subpage and make it available on a certain date. Let's set next week's subpage so that it becomes visible to students at the beginning of the week. To begin, I'll click on the week three subpage to display it. From here, I'll click the settings icon. It looks like a gear. We want the subpage to be available on a future date, so we'll check the box next to hide page until the following date. I'll click the calendar icon and select the day I want it to become visible to students, as well as the time, and then we'll click Done and Save. A banner confirming these settings appears at the top of the page. Alternatively, I'll confirm the subpage is hidden by clicking Lessons in the navigation bar to return to the main Lessons page, which lists all the subpages. A message appears next to the subpage I've hidden letting me know the page will not be released until the date I selected. Releasing subpages on certain dates is very useful, but there may also be instances in which you'll want to hide a subpage indefinitely. For example, I've placed on this subpage links to articles that I may decide to use later in the semester, but my students won't need to see this subpage, so I'll hide it from them. Again, we'll open the subpage and click the settings icon. This time, I'll check the box next to Hide This Page from Users and click Save. The banner confirming the subpage is hidden appears, and I'll click Lessons to return to the list of subpages. Next to the subpage I selected, a message confirming it's hidden appears. Let's see how my Lessons page appears for students. Click View Site As and select Student. Since we've hidden the subpages for Week 3 and my collection of articles, Students are only able to see Weeks 1 and 2. This looks good. Okay, we'll exit Student View. Since Week 3 is going to be released soon, let's return to it and check to make sure the content appears in a logical order. Moving down the page, we have the due date, followed by the learning objective and readings, and then, hmm, under Activities and Assessment, things look a little out of order. The quiz is appearing above the assignment, discussion, and video but it should be the last to appear in this section, otherwise students might become confused over the sequence in which they should complete the activities. Let's reorganize this section so that the video comes first, followed by the discussion and assignment, and then the quiz. I'll scroll back up to the top of the page and click Reorder. All of the items that have been added to the subpage appear. From here, we'll drag the quiz down to the bottom of the list. Notice the green bar and arrow appearing to let me know where we are in the list and we'll drop it here at the bottom. Next, we'll drag the assignment down and drop it above the quiz. And finally, we'll drag the discussion down and drop it above the assignment. Now, students will see the video, followed by the discussion and assignment, and then the quiz. In your course, you'll need to decide on the best arrangement of activities that will allow your students to see a clear path through the week's material. If you need to delete an item, Click the X or drag and drop the item to the Drop Items Here to Delete box. The changes we've made look good, so I'll click Save. And then scroll down to take a look at the section. The video appears first, followed by the discussion and assignment, and then the quiz. The subpage is ready for students. One more thing we'll address in this course site is the organization of the course menu. Right now, there's quite a few buttons available to students. Rather than asking students to click through many buttons to locate content, the menu should be student-friendly and easy for students to navigate. So we'll move the buttons for important tools such as Overview, Announcements, Syllabus, Lessons, Gradebook, and Tests and Quizzes to the top of the menu. Then we'll hide the buttons students won't need. To make changes to the course menu, we'll click Site Info, and then Tool Order. Let's start by making sure the important tools are at the top of the menu. Overview is already first, then Announcements. We'll drag Syllabus up and drop it under Announcements. Then we'll drag Lessons up and drop it under Syllabus. 
We'll move the gradebook up so it's next. And then tests and quizzes. Students will need to visit tests and quizzes to see feedback on their assessments. Under tests and quizzes, I'll also move the roster tool up, as well as the email and email archive tools. In your site, you may choose to show or hide these three tools. Lastly, since the course site uses lessons to link to activities and documents, we'll hide the remaining buttons. Next to Assignments, click the gear icon and select Make Tool Invisible to Students. A hidden icon appears. I'll repeat the process with Forums, Resources, Calendar, and the remaining tools at the bottom of the list. Then we'll click Save and return to the overview page. All of the menu items students need are at the top of the list, and all of the items that are hidden appear italicized and grayed out. Let's see how the menu will appear for students. As we did earlier, we'll click View Site As and select Student. They'll see a short list of only the menu items that they'll need, making it easy for them to navigate the course and locate content. Okay. I think you're ready to make your course site easier for your students to navigate. If you need assistance, please contact sakaihelp at durhamtech.edu.